Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome to my new 7 Days to Die series. This one is called Ghost Town. Now, yes, we have done Ghost Town in the past. That was back in Alpha 17 and it was a Horde Every Night series. Well, we're not doing that this time. The settings for this series are Warrior Difficulty, Maxed Out 64 Zombie Hordes, and airdrops are turned off. Everything else is default. And the rules for this series are we must live and hold down every horde here in Ghost Town. Now, I call it Ghost Town, but really it's just the Old West Town that you can find in Navisgain. And it's changed quite a lot since the last time we did this in Alpha 17, so that should make things interesting. I also considered starting with a vehicle or maybe full-on desert gear, but I decided against it, so we spawned in with only what you would normally start the game with. I figure if we want gear or a vehicle, we're going to either have to find that shit or craft that shit. What I'm doing right now, of course, is running through these initial challenges so we can get our four skill points and we can get started here. I want to start clearing this place out, getting all of the loot, and putting it in one place. Now, we're definitely not going to loot this entire town in one day. It's going to take some time, but what we definitely want to do today is find a place to call home and maybe a place where we're going to start building our first base. We can have numerous bases throughout this whole town. Remember, we have to hold down this town, not any particular building. So literally every building can be a base and we can just like base hop during the Horde Night. That might not be the best strategy though because we want to try and make this town survive as long as we can. If every building in this town falls, then it's game over. We got a coyote right here. We better uh, make some weaponry. I can make a wooden club. And then I can make the bow. I can only make a couple of arrows right now until we grab some more stone. Yeah, but we better kill this thing sooner than later. So we can walk around without having to worry about it. Plus, my dad used to always say, don't put off until tomorrow what you can murder today. There's another stone. So we can make one more arrow. Three arrows might be enough to kill this coyote. I'm also making that wooden frame so we can get that challenge done. Let's go over here to the gallows. Put the frame right there. Why not? Let's upgrade it. The last challenge will be the campfire. And let's see. I think we can uh, put an arrow into that coyote from up here. Gotta aim a little high. Shit. Well, now we have two arrows. There we go. Hit him again. Yes. Eyes oh, running off. Should we chase him down? He might get stuck on that mountain right there. We got a zombie. All right, fuck it. He's running off. Oh shit. No, he's back. <laughs> this motherfucker. All right, you know what? Now we are going to chase his ass down. Come here, you little bastard. <laughs> oh, look how cute. He thinks I won't follow him up the mountain. Man, how many whacks can this guy take? Oh, shit. Man, he's lucky I didn't break my leg just there. Then I would have been really pissed off. Come here, you fucker. Oh, he's stuck now. Nowhere to run. There we go, finally. Well, coyotes are going to be a pain in the ass in this series. I guess let's live in the sheriff's office, right? I mean, it only makes sense. We are the sheriff of this new town. So let's do that, and I think the church is where we might make our first base. But let's get in here first, put down our campfire so we can get our skill points, and then we'll go clear out the church. Daddy's home. That's Sheriff Daddy to you, though, bitch. Come on out of there. Okay, there we go. Now, let's, um, repair our axe, scrap this chair, and spend these skill points. I'm gonna put the first one into Skull Crusher. Now we gotta go make ourselves a stone sledgehammer. I'm gonna put the next one into Well Insulated. Since we're living out here in the desert, that will help us from overheating. Uh, the next one I'm gonna put into Intellect. Because we gotta unlock a forge and a vehicle and all that good shit. 
And the last one, I'm going to go Miner 69er. That will allow us to make some better tools. So I'll scrap this axe, even though I just repaired it, and make a new one. That'll be uh, level two. All right, let's roll. Made us a stone sledgehammer, which is also at level two because we put that point in a skull crusher. I want to clear out and loot the church, but before we do that, let me grab some more wood. And I guess we'll do the cemetery first. We'll loot any exposed graves, and any graves that aren't exposed, we can come back later with a shovel and dig those up. And oh shit, I meant to drop some storage down back at home. I forgot to do that, so maybe we'll do that after we do the cemetery here. Okay, let's get back to the church. That gun safe we'll break into later. If we can find lockpicks or a better tool like an iron or steel pickaxe, great. If not, then we'll just break into it with the stone axe or the stone sledgehammer. Oh shit. Oh, I couldn't back out. Fucking soccer mom. And another one. What, did they drop down from the ceiling? She's dead. Yeah, they must have been up on those rafters. Well, don't forget to check your ceilings like I always do. Oh, got a shotgun messiah box. And I'm sure zombies behind all these curtains. Yeah, here's big boy. Damn, big man can take a beating. Here comes Mo. I don't know how many more zombies are hiding behind these curtains. All right, let's make sure we're clear down here. Then we'll loot, and we'll stop home, drop some stuff off, and we'll see how many more POIs we can uh, clear out and loot today. And I hope you guys are pumped for this series. I'm excited about it. I love living in the desert, even though the desert biome can be very unforgiving. Got some food in there. Gotta go see where these zombies are at. They're probably outside. But yeah, I know some of you are still bummed about the House on the Hill series, so I hope this makes up for it. I really didn't want to start that series from the beginning, right after losing the game save at day six. But I do promise that we will revisit that series again at some point. Okay, that safe is open, but I hear a zombie. Yep, a big boy. Damn, excuse yourself, you fucking pig. Nice, take that. And let's go finish looting the basement here. And I think I'm going to drop our land claim block down here also, keep zombies from respawning in the church, because I think this is where we're going to make our first base. And also, something I forgot to mention to you guys, the Eden Center Mall is in this world. This is Navisgain, the mall is still here, so at some point we can go explore that thing, but I don't want to venture too far out of Ghost Town until we have a vehicle, at least a mini bike, preferably a motorcycle. Ooh, nice, whole bunch of silver, a piece of gold. I'm gonna put on these leather gloves and scrap the plant fiber ones, bring down the stun baton and this knife. Now the trader is 1.3 kilometers away, a decent little walk, we can certainly do it in a day, but I'm gonna wait until we're completely done looting Ghost Town before we make that journey. And I want to make a bandana and some bandages using the cloth we just harvested. And let me also turn these feathers into arrows. Oh, nice. I will put that chest armor on now. 
And there's something I should probably mention to avoid any confusion. The Eden Center Mall is a custom POI that I placed into my Navisgain world using the world editor. So it's not normally in Navisgain or in any other random gen world for that matter. You have to download the prefab files, put them into your prefab folder, and then use the world editor to place it into one of your worlds. Do I get loot from breaking coffins apart? I don't think I do at this point. I think it's just wood. I'm pretty sure there's a book you have to read before you can uh, get loot from breaking coffins apart. But anyway, if you want to download the prefab files for the mall and place it into one of your worlds so you can play it too, then I will link Captain Whisker Biscuits, his video. He's one of the creators of the mall, and he made a video that shows you how to place the mall into one of your worlds using the world editor and in the body of that video is the dropbox link where you can download the prefab file so i will put his video link down in the description below just in case you want to try out the eden center mall for yourself nothing up here all right i figured i'd check before we get out of here let's stop home and drop some stuff off into storage and then we'll see how many more of these POIs we can loot today. I'm pretty sure these buildings right next door to us are all connected. I think this is all just one giant dungeon style POI. So Probably not the best thing to get started on now at almost hour 14. So probably save that for tomorrow. Uh, there are some POIs back here, though, that we can hit up. This is a small little shop. I don't think we'll have any zombies in here. A little stack of food, though. Take that. Some more food and water. I will take that. Let's make ourselves a stone shovel. We can dig up this uh, cement. And then move on. Nice. I'll put those boots on in place of my plant fiber shoes. And then I'll scrap those. Let's grab the plastic parts here. These wood barrels, you don't get much from them. A few pieces of wood. So I'm just going to skip over them for now. Let's go right next door. Oh, we got this wood pile here. This you get a good amount of wood from. So I'll break these up. And then we'll see what we got next door here. Got a sleeper in the corner. Let's hit him with an arrow. Wake him up. Only got three arrows. Need to make more. Right in the head. Oh, that always happens to me with the stun baton. That's why I rarely use it. It's not the stun baton's fault. It's my fault. I just get too crazy with it, whacking the zombies until I get that electricity. You know, to shock them with it or whatever. And then, while I'm doing that, I usually end up taking a hit or two, because I have no patience, that's why. I really am loving the sledgehammer, though. I'm looking forward to putting a few more points in the Skull Crusher, and just smashing zombies throughout this entire series. Got a nice little pile of oil shale right here. We'll come back once we find a pickaxe or something. Not gonna harvest that with my stone axe, let's keep it moving for now. Hour 15, we're looking good. Let's do BJ Welding. What does BJ stand for? Best Job Welding? I'm sure that's what it is. Go ask your mom and dad what BJ stands for. I'm sure they'll know. Ooh, workbench. Ah, it's destroyed. Oh, fire axe. Take that. Nice, couple of mods right there. Trigger group mod and a wood splitter mod, which I'm going to put right onto my stone axe for now. If we can get that fire axe repaired, maybe I'll throw it on there later. This trigger group mod is a semi-automatic, so you can put that on a fully automatic weapon and turn it into a semi-automatic weapon. So that'd be good to put on like the AK or the M60 so those weapons don't just eat through ammo. Oh, there's another workbench up here. Ah, oh, and it's also destroyed. And we got a zombie. Oh, oh my god. Dude, I'm already getting one-hit kills with this sledgehammer. What's it gonna look like? Uh, oh shit. Level 3 steel pickaxe. That's sick. Whoa! 
<laughs> Why did that just scare the shit out of me? Um, yeah, dude, we're already crushing them with one-hit kills with a level two stone sledgehammer. What's it gonna look like when we put a couple of more points in the skull crusher and get our hands on a steel sledge? Oh, we leveled up. I got a skill point to spend. But I don't know where to put it yet. I kind of want to go Grease Monkey and unlock the bicycle right on day one. But I also kind of want to go Advanced Engineering and unlock a forge right on day one. So, I got to think about it. Let me put some more thought into that. We can always make that decision tonight. This looks like the back end of Metalworks. I don't know what that is over there. It looks like a standalone little barn or something. Or garage. Uh, before we do either of those POIs, though, let me grab some more grass fibers here. I want to craft a bedroll so I don't forget to put this thing down. And let's stop home and unload before we uh, try looting anymore. Let's start destroying the trash as we loot it. As new sheriff, I say, we gotta clean up Ghost Town. All right, let's do metalworks. Got a nice pile of coal right here. I'll search this white barrel. Nothing. I'll come back and harvest that coal another time. Right now, let's just worry about ripping through this POI. Shirt, I will uh, put that on in place of my plant fiber shirt and scrap that. Scrap these chairs. We got out here another white barrel. Nothing. Let's take apart this wagon. We get uh, wood, iron, and cloth from this. Another workbench. Also fucking destroyed. Ooh, bellows, though. I'll take that. That's a shame, though. Three workbenches so far, every one of them destroyed. That's bad luck. But that's all right. We'll be crafting our own workbench in no time. Let's go up there and see what we got. Come on. How do I get up there? Like this, right? Get up. Got a suitcase. Now I'll scrap that for the iron. Nothing else up here. Let's get back down. Now last time I was in this POI and came down this hallway, there was a dog. I don't know if that's every time. Yep, I guess it is. Here he comes. All right, uh, run. Where are we going? Uh, in here, I guess. This door works. Close it. Where's he at? Oh, shit. Is he stuck? Yeah, he's stuck. Please don't come unstuck. Oh, is he dead? Oh, shit. <laughs> he was playing dead. Come on. Now he's dead. And I don't have my knife on me. Nope. Alright, I'll hit him with the axe until we have five bones, then I'll make a bone shiv. This way we can harvest as much out of him as possible. I want the animal fat so we can make more torches tonight. We got a little bit from the coyote this morning, but the more the merrier. I'll grab a little bit of this coal while I'm here. We already have some in our inventory. I'm just gonna grab these uh, smoldering piles right here. I'm not gonna mess with this big hunk right here, even though we do have our pickaxe. We'll do it another time. It's getting late. Let's make sure we can at least finish this POI. We can get some more coal right here. Ah, wrench finally. It's a level one with only half its health, but better than nothing. And we've got at least three destroyed workbenches that we need to take apart. Ooh, nice. 9mm ammo and a Gravedigger mod that we can put on our shovel right now. I feel like we need a Magnum in this series. You know, we're the Sheriff of Ghost Town. We definitely need a Magnum, so we need to either find one or buy one. I just feel like Magnum ammo is so hard to come by. But we can always craft it. We got a Working Stiff Tools crate up here. Ooh, nice. Level 3 Iron Shovel, Level 2 wrench and an anvil. Shit, we found the bellows and an anvil today. I think that's a sign that we ought to just unlock advanced engineering 
one and go ahead and craft ourselves a forge. Uh, speaking about the Magnum, I don't know if you guys have seen this, but Seven Days to Die teased a new weapon coming to Alpha 19, and it is a Desert Eagle. I'll put up a picture of it now. And I'm just curious to know what cartridge this thing is going to fire, because they could make it the 44 Magnum, and then it would just shoot the same round that the Magnum shoots, or they could make it a 357 or a 50 caliber. And my personal opinion is I would love to see a 50 caliber handgun come to this game. All right, we got to get in this window here. I'm sure there are going to be zombies inside. Here we go. All right, out the window. I think we can hit them with a sledge from here. <laughs> oh, we sure can. Ah, fuck it. Come here, big mama. Dead. Got a crawler right here. Splat. Okay. Might as well harvest this iron ore right here. And then the main loot is just above us. Ooh, more silver and gold. Shit, we are gonna have a nice first trip out to the trader. Especially if we wait until we're done looting this entire town. Let's see what we got in here. Forged iron and a wire tool, and we are really encumbered, moving slow as shit. We better start making our way back home. Oh, uh, what the hell? I'm trying to get this desk out of here. And in the process, I broke two blocks. Alright, let's fill those in. We got a zombie we need to go take care of. I didn't even realize we got a hole in the roof. We might be able to fix this now. I think we're going to need incline blocks and wedge tips. Now we need a um we need a table saw to make wedge tips, but I'm pretty sure we can make incline blocks using the frames. Um Yeah, we can. So we can fix this a little bit, but in order to fix it completely, we're going to need to find a table saw. Got a zombie outside. Alright. Just one. Not a big deal. I'm still going to put a frame down. Don't feel like letting her in. She looks kind of pissed off. Alright, let's get into this gun safe. Now, I did find four lock picks today, but I also found this level three steel pickaxe, so this is the way I'm going in. Now, why waste the lock picks? We got nothing else to do tonight. Might as well spend it breaking into this safe. Oh, I'm pretty thirsty. Let me drink and eat something. Because my stamina is down quite a bit, also. I mean, the only advantage to using lock picks over the pickaxe is that lock picks are quiet and we won't make a sound, so they're safer, but. Fuck being safe. What are we going to do? Attract some zombies? Who cares? I'll gladly kill more zombies. We could use the XP. Damn, dude. Fucking level 2 AK. A 2 by scope. Level 3 iron club. This might be like the best first day I've ever had in terms of loot. Not only do we find all this stuff, we got a storage chest filled with shit. We found the anvil, the bellows, fucking like 16 things of silver, two things of gold. We are looking good. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Great first day, though. We'll pick things up here on the morning of day two. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Ghost Town, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.